Here at Google, we continue to see a lot of developers building their APIs on top of microservices. So in this example, we've deployed a weather API on Cloud Run. It's made up of four different services. This is great for you as an API provider because it gives you a lot of flexibility around how you deploy and how you scale these services. But as an API consumer, you don't want to keep track of which service is responsible for which piece of the API. You just want one interface that you can call to access all the capabilities provided by this API. So let's take a look at how Google Cloud's API Gateway can help you combine all these services into one easy to use API. To get started, we'll need an open API specification that defines each of the resources in our API. Next, we'll add instructions to tell the API Gateway where to route the request for each of those resources. Finally, we'll want to secure our API, so we'll configure a security definition that requires all incoming calls to provide a valid API key. Once we have our open API specification, we're ready to create our API gateway. First, we'll specify the display name and give our API a unique identifier. Next, we'll define the API's initial configuration by uploading our open API file. We'll then give our configuration a display name and we'll configure the service account that will be used to call our backend services. Finally, we're ready to deploy our API configuration to a new gateway. In this case, that gateway will run in the US Central Region. Once we hit Create, after a few minutes, our gateway will be ready to start accepting incoming API requests. Because we've secured our API, we'll need valid credentials. In this case, we've elected to use API keys as our security mechanism. We can get an API key for our API in the APIs and Services section of the Google Cloud Console. Once we have our key, we can make an API call from the command line using curl. If we try to access our API without providing a key, the call will be rejected by the gateway. Once we add our key to the request, the gateway then allows our call to go through successfully. That was just a quick preview of how you can use the new API gateway to create and secure your APIs.